When Labor was elected in 2007, Kevin Rudd described climate change as the great moral challenge of our generation. A year down the track, Rudd's market-based carbon pollution reduction scheme is struggling to get through Senate with the support of either the Greens or the Coalition. So what happened in between? In an essay published last week in the quarterly essay, former Liberal speechwriter Guy Pearce argued that carbon-intense industry, or the greenhouse mafia, has compromised the government's policy on climate change with their heavyweight lobby power. I had a chat with Guy to find out how Australia's biggest polluters are misleading Australians and holding us back from green jobs. Guy, what do you mean when you say Australia has quarry vision? Well, I suppose what I'm alluding to there is the way in which Australians have been conditioned to believe that the mining metals and energy sectors, fossil energy especially, are the backbones of Australia's economy. When you look more closely uh, at the size of these industries, what you find is that they're quite a small proportion of Australia's overall economy. The idea that we just can't live without the quarry uh, is actually quite flawed. The Rudd government says that its carbon pollution reduction scheme gets the balance right between the Australian economy and the need to combat climate change. Why do you think the government has not achieved this balance? Oh, well, they haven't achieved the balance because they've tried to look after these industries uh, because they suffer from this quarry vision that, they're, that these industries are somehow indispensable and that they're under threat when in actual fact they're not under such a great threat at all. The Labor Party has been just as vulnerable to the lobbying from these same industries as the Coalition was. A decision is being made to look after the short-term interests of a few polluters rather than the long-term interests of the nation even if it means we've outsourced all of those green job opportunities to another country in the same way we've outsourced manufacturing or call centres, you name it. So, in contrast to the prevailing quarry vision which you've described, what do you call your vision? Look, I think we want to be part of the renewable energy transition and, uh, and that's all about getting, getting to grips with our economy, the reality of our economy, which is a services-based economy. Uh, in which most of the industries are not terribly emissions intensive. Australia is extremely well positioned in that respect. Um, you know, most of the industries don't rely very heavily uh, on emissions intensive uh, electricity. And so what, all we have to do is bite the bullet and be willing uh, to stand up to the, that very small minority, which is, you know, the tail that's managed to wag the dog for all of these years. Uh, and I, I think it's a lot easier and I think there's an awful lot of public goodwill uh, if, if there was the political leadership.